I tell you guys? Didn't I tell you guys that somebody was either going to end up dead or in jail on the back of this Adam 22 community, fake community world beef? And most of it, I said, had to do with Adam. Because Adam 22 is doing this thing that I fucking hate, where it seems like he's instigating this beef. He's really ramping it up. Instead of kind of tempering things and bring him down a bit, he's using really inflammatory language, really tough guy language, that if you was just, again, you don't have to be a street dude, just a regular dude, you would take umbrage, you would take offense to some of the things that he's saying, and you'd want to see him. You'd want to like, hey, let's meet up, let's throw hands, let's have a fair one, because I'm, I can't do this back and forth too much. Because I think when it comes to men, there's a certain limit when it comes to back and forth and arguing and shit. You can't just pe keep saying shit to somebody if you're a, a man in, in any way, in any way, shape or form, especially if you call yourself an actual man, not these fucking stupid, you know, um, guys online talking about how to date girls and get the most out of them without giving them anything. That's bullshit. If you're an actual man that's about your business, that fucking looks after your family, that treats their friends with respect and shit, all that good stuff, there's only so much disrespect you can take until you're like, you know what? We have to fucking fight. But I feel like Adam is the same like Ak. Academics are the same thing. I listened to an interview with Academics with Little Yatty and he said something really strange. It was like, the little ba him and Little Baby are cool. And Little Yatty made like a face like, no, you're not. Why do you think you're cool? And basically Academics said, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm over it. But I'm thinking, no, 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 no. And you can't just say what you want and then when you're over it, it's over. No. And think, notice, that's something that Brendan does too. Brendan does this thing where he will say shit about Dana White, but because Dana White's like, you know, bit millionaire, makes lots of money with the UFC, he's always in the news some way. He'll do something and then you try to like suck him off. And it's like, dude, you can't insult this guy, go back and forth and say some mean things and then pretend like it's cool, like, because you're cool. It doesn't work like that. You, there's always going to be static. So I feel like in this situation, Adam 22 should have tried to bring the temperature down and just tried to make it about content and all that stuff. That would have been fine. But he was talking very spicy on a previous show that I spoke about on the stream where he was kind of talking about, you know, he ran them off the block and they've got guns on him and shit. He brought in Desto Dub and Brick Baby, um, you know, Flacco and what's his called? That little other Humpty Dumpty, what's his name? Um, Dijon. They were basically all, con they were basically all involved because they just sat there. Anyway, long story short, it all came to a head recently at a Sexy Red show. Yes, Sexy Red. Sexy Red had a show in LA and I guess they all bumped into each other and guess what happened? Fucking Desto Dub. Desto Dub, the awful little cost syrup guy, was in attendance and the community guys and I guess some of the ace boys saw Desto Dubs and they were like, hey, what's all that shit you were talking? What's, you were there laughing and kikiing when Adam 22 was like talking shit about us. So now it's your issue too because that's what happens, right? If... Adam 22 is talking spicy about someone and you're in a room and you don't publicly say, hey, I'm not involved or you don't remove yourself. You're also involved in the beef. I'm sorry. I'm on that time also. If if you were there, whilst, like it's like it's like a friend. If a friend of yours was in the room somewhere where someone was talking bad about you, but they didn't intervene or they didn't let you know straight away, I'm going to beat up the friend also. Everyone's fucking getting it. There's no way that you're not just, you're going to fucking wipe, wash your hands or whatever. Like if you're involved, you're standing next to the ops, you're an op too. So they saw him and they put it on him. And I, I feel bad for Desso Dub because he seems like a cool dude. But yeah, Desso Dub's in the purple sweater. He gets pressed by AD and his crew. And pun. There's pun there. I think that's Illa. I think that's Illa there. Wearing the good Yeezys. Big up Illa. And look at Desto Dub backing away. <laughs> He's moonwalking back. Desto wants no issues. He's so scared. Is that his boy Trey? I don't think that's his boy. I don't, is that Trey? It is, isn't it? To be fair, why is he running back so quickly? He should be at least standing. There's too much running back. <sighs> Come on, Desto. He looks, this is so sad, man. And again, he's he's got nothing to do with the beef. Adam22 has beef with community and AD and those guys. But Adam22 is never outside. Right? He's never going to be in places that they are guys at. He's going to lead these guys to get smoked by themselves. So, fuck it up. It's Aki 7 though. He should have stood his ground regardless. Like, and just explain the situation. Hey, I'm not involved. I apologize, whatever. If I did anything wrong. But the way he's running away, it makes him look like such a pussy. 
And I and I, he probably isn't, but it makes him look bad. He probably should have just stood there and said and tried to ex- at least ex- most likely if he tried to explain, he would have got punched in the face. But. <laughs> Yeah, Uche, you're right. Don't get me wrong. This is fucking redacted. They're all fucking old dudes. They're all over 30 with kids and shit. I get it. But you have to remove your common, our common sense and common decency and adult responsible behavior from... These guys aren't like that, right? Just You have to just remove it and just assess the nonsense for what it is. Like, just enjoy the shit show. <laughs> all these grown-ups, man. At a sexy red concert, by the way. Sexy red show. <laughs> We need to risk their freedom because of Adam 22. Oh, I fucking love it. <laughs> Room full of beautiful ladies, right? Some fellas too, if you're into that vibes. And here they are arguing over Adam 22. <laughs> look at Desta running away. Oh, no. AD, though, AD. AD. Look, at, look at AD's head. Look at AD's head. Look at AD's head. <laughs> Look at that hunchback, look at him. Oh, Desto ran to security. Yo, Desto happened to big up him though, because look where he started from. He was over here and he somehow managed to get that way all the way to the back where security was. Big up Desto, he's got some moves on him, isn't he? He's got some fucking, maybe he plays football in college. How did he get from there to there? He somehow got on the, he got the other side. That's fucking cool. Well done, Desto. Weird ass, no jumper ass. Hey, Dino, AD, pun. Oh, look at Desto Dub and the so bait in the purple. Like, oh man, he's probably high out of his mind. He's like so scared. None of his boys are with him. He's gonna catch. He's gonna be. He's gonna be catching hands. He's gonna be just getting pumped in the face because of Adam Twenty Two. They're not even that close. <laughs> he just uses no jumper to promote his brand. <laughs> Look at Pun. Pun's quite a big dude though. You know, he's he's obviously a fat dude, but he's obviously a tall guy, right? And all the other dudes around there. I understand why Desta ran away, but you have to stand. You have to just take the beat. You know what's happened in the base of this? People are just too afraid to get in a fight. It's not that big of a deal. Honestly, you lose fights every day, bro. Like, honestly, maybe because I've, I've been in too many skirmishes, really stupid ones, most of them that I've lost, it's, right? But it's not a big deal when you get punched in the face. You just punch the person back, right? It's not that big of a deal, really. No, most people can't fight anyway, so it's not as if, like, you're gonna be a, you're gonna be fighting some MMA fight or something. Most people don't know how to defend themselves anyway, right? So... It's not that big of a deal. Just stand on business, right? And again, that's a good thing, isn't it, right? Everyone says stand on business. That's the thing that's going around. It's the current meme at the moment. Standing on business, standing on business. But nobody is willing to stand on business when it's actually time to stand on business. Same with the snitching. Everybody has loads to say about snitching and all this stuff. Everyone wants to fucking make a TED talk about how they wouldn't snitch. But when they put in that situation, everyone's fucking singing. What's the point of living that life if you're not going to abide by the fucking protocols or the you know whatever the rules and the laws around it what's the point of abiding by that certain code if you're not going to live with it like what is the point of talking about it it's fucking nonsense everyone just it's fake fronting really if you're gonna if you're gonna be that guy and you're gonna kiki and, and ha ha with the fucking ops you have to be ready for the smoke it is what it is come on desto dub this guy look like he just ran out rolled out of bed isn't it well gone him that's a very um that's a very um dig this hole that's that's a what's that what's that what's that fucking um that's that that just looks like one of those prison outfits isn't it but i like the berets really nice though. ad and t row walking up no, ad, AD and, pun and pun on business ad and pun on business hey yo stop <laughs> sucking dick man these people that relax as well whoever the camera guy is go and fucking send your mom a text or something Go and ride a car to your girlfriend. Like, stop sucking up to other men. Like, just grow, grow some nuts as well. Who's this guy? AD and Pan sucking on business. Pan, Pan, can I suck your dicky? Hey, what y'all say, man? Hey, stand in-
Oh, fuck you know, this guy's lame, whoever that guy is. But yeah, thank you for the footage. Anyway, Adam22 is obviously going to get somebody killed and end up, end up in jail, and you'll be nowhere to found. He was nowhere to be found to help Desto Dub there. He had to back all that business on his own. Um, they watched the footage, actually, on the No Jumper show. Let's watch this clip. This is uh, Brick Calls Out the Cowardice. Let's see what Brick Baby says about this, about um, Desto Dub. They watched it on No Jumper. Let's see what they said about it. Actually, let me get myself off the screen. Let me let me play this video, and let me go. Let me let me actually make it smaller so you can see it. Bear with me a second. Let's not make it full screen. Let's make it that so you can see what they say there. There we go. Bish bash bosh. Let's play it there, so you can see that. Right? Yeah. Boom. <laughs> so technically it looks like they've got a problem with everybody in that room except for sharp i guess and flacco because brick baby and and desto double the two people that were laughing the most when the beef happened right they were kind of key keen ha ha and so if anything brick baby should know now that it's probably on site for him too if you ever cross paths with ace boys and you know community guys and whatnot it's probably going to be on for him as well so he's got to be aware of it i'm sure Cover by itself. What did you ask it for cameras for? Like on six so issue up. If you was gonna issue up, you 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 call the nigga that don't get involved with no politics or nothing with that shit. Cause shuts up every time they talk anything about it, nigga. Yeah, you know I mean, you call the nigga like that up there that don't got nothing to do with your nut, no jumper beef and all that, bro. And tried to do that while he's by himself and still didn't issue up while y'all was five D. Hoax shit. You know what I mean? Other than that, I, mean, I ain't even like, you know, this is a podcast and like y'all, y'all, y'all doing a little bit much. I mean, y'all want to take podcasts in the street shit? This is, yeah, hey, that's on y'all, brother. But like I say, I stand in the, I stand in the blue in this one. I just ain't even, you know what I mean? It don't, is it really street shit though? If they're just gonna, if they're gonna have like, I don't know. This, I don't think it's street shit. I just think at the moment, Brett, like, Thing about Jiggy hasn't. Adam is the one that's making this worse because it started off like a disagreement, right? Because I guess he wasn't happy about how he was being portrayed by the community guys, right? But I don't really think it's a street issue. If anything, it's Adam's inability to just hash out the issues, shoot a fair one, and just keep talking as if like people are going to be willing to go back and forth with him all the time. That's what's caused the issue. It's not really a street beef, but again. Even if it does train into a street beef, guess who's not going to be there on those fucking streets? You guessed it. Fucking Adam 22. It don't, it don't concern me. I just pray that when y'all see me, y'all act the same way. Oh, see what I mean? Look what's happened now. Now you got Brick Babies basically saying, I'm on, I'm on business. If you see me, I'm going to have the tolly on me. I'm going to have the shank on me. I'm going to have something on me. I'm going to blow your fucking head off your shoulders. So imagine somebody's going to get a hole in their fucking chest because Adam 22 was talking some tough guy talk on the jumper. And guess where he is? Nowhere to be found. So again, Adam 22, one way or another, finds a way to get black men locked up. <laughs> what a piece of shit. You know what? Adam 22 is who people think academics is. Academics isn't that bad. Academics is obviously an instigator and in whatever in his way, but it's only him. He only affects himself. Adam twenty two puts that smart on everybody else. Ad academics only affects himself. So if academics ends up getting punched up by little baby's crew, that's his own fault. But everybody else in this studio in this fucking company has is gonna be attached with the smudge of Adam twenty two because of him's fucking how divisive he is and shit. Honestly, Adam 22 is actually worse than, than DJ Academics. I'm going to put that down. Yeah, I mean, and that's just that. I just. Sorry, I'm going to die on that hill. Pray I act the same way. Yeah, I mean, Oof. we don't got to talk too much more about that. I pray Ooh. a nigga act the same way. I'm begging. Because <laughs> we be outside. Sharp. Too. Sh Sharp is uncharacteristically very quiet. <laughs> Sharp always has something to say. Sharp is staying out of this all the way because Sharp doesn't want any of those issues, right? Which is understandable. But again, Adam 22 is at fault. 